the Kamano Kodo are ancient pilgrimage routes that crisscross the key peninsula south of Osaka. I hiked three of these routes in 2023, visiting two of the three grand shrines, Kamano Hongu and Kamano Nachi. It was four days of hiking, staying in the small towns of Nonaka, Yinamini, and Kaguchi along the way. The hike began on the Nakahachi route at Takajiri Oji and started climbing immediately just in case there was any confusion over whether or not this was going to be too easy. The first day was 10.3 miles and more than 4,500 feet of elevation gain, so a bit of a butt kicker. After passing through the small town of Chikatsuyu, I spent the night in the even smaller town of Anaka. On day two, I continued along the Nakahachi route. This was the longest day at 12.7 miles and tied with day four for the hardest. But the Kamano Hangu Shrine at the end was worth the work. Really gorgeous with tall cedars and steep stone steps lined with hundreds of flags fluttering in the wind. And the huge Oyunohara Tori Gate was stunning. I took a bus, shown here in green, to the hot spring town of Yinamini, where I stayed the night. On day three, I hiked the Kogu Matori Go, which started about two miles southeast of Kamano Hangu. This was the shortest and easiest day, but I wouldn't call it easy. There was one nice view along the way, but not much else to see. At the end of the trail, it was a 30 minute walk to the pretty little town of Kaguchi, where I stayed the night. I got up early on day four, and after breakfast, the owner drove me to the beginning of the Ogu Matori route for my final day of hiking. I think this was the prettiest section and was tied with day two for the hardest. It was only 8.6 miles, but almost 4,000 feet of elevation gain, so pretty steep. The long climb up the ancient stone steps of Echizen Toga Pass was memorable. So many steps. At the top, you're at the highest point of the entire hike. And from there, it's a long descent to Kamano Nachi and the striking Vermilion Pagoda in front of Nachi Falls. You really couldn't ask for a more picturesque ending to a hike. The day before my hike, I stayed at the Kamano Winery Guesthouse in Tanabe. One of the owners is a chef and he used ingredients from their farm to prepare the best meal I had on the entire trip to Japan. This was a pretty great way to start the hike.
This song was played over loudspeakers in Kaguchi at 5 p.m. It's a Japanese children's folk song named Yuyaki Koyaki, and it plays in many Japanese towns. A test of the emergency system, and a reminder that it's getting late and the children should be returning home. A really nice lady gave me a bag and invited me to join their rice cake toss festival. The more you catch, the more luck you'll have. I got five, but I might have picked one or two up off the ground. Most of the four days was just hiking through mountains and forests that could have been anywhere. Not really sightseeing, just hiking. If you like hiking and want to see some of the smaller towns, it's great. But if you're coming to Japan for sightseeing, you might be wondering why you're spending so much time with trees. You can collect stamps along the way, which was surprisingly fun. I just bought the cheap double-sided stamp book at the visitor center. Uh, it was only in Japanese and I didn't really know where the booths were, so I just stopped at whichever ones I found. Um, so I ended up missing a few pages and putting some stamps on the wrong pages. Uh, if I had to do it over again, I think I'd bring my own blank book with nicer, fancier paper and do a little research ahead of time so I knew where the booths were. When I booked with Kamano Travel, there were options with and without meals. I opted for all the meals and was very glad I did. Dinners, breakfasts, and lunch boxes. It was fun to see what each place prepared, and I liked chatting with the other hikers over a meal. The number printed on the ticket you grabbed when you got on the bus, find it on the grid at the front, and the number under that is your current fare. One last tip, if you use Yamato to ship your luggage from Tanabi to Katsura, make sure you get the address right and don't accidentally ship it to Shingu, or else Hiroshi will have to drive you for 20 minutes to Shingu to get it, and then drive you 20 minutes back so you don't miss your train. I guess what I'm saying is the Japanese people were very nice. <laughs> 